With an 88-year legacy of international music ministry, community engagement, and justice seeking, First Church of Deliverance in Chicago continues to find ways to remain relevant in an ever-changing world. Let's welcome Reverend James R. Bryson, Jr., the recently elected pastor of the historic First Church of Deliverance. We also welcome two First Church of Deliverance youth. Sarah Amuzu is a junior at Schaumburg High School, and Andrew Amuzu is a sophomore at Schaumburg High School. Thanks for joining joining us. Happy Reverend James Bryson, just tell us a little bit about the history of the church. Well, the First Church of Deliverance is a, a spiritual church that we say, we, a spiritual church of love and faith. And we invite all to come into faith in Jesus Christ through our ministries. Uh, we were founded May 8th, 1929 by Reverend Clarence H. Cobbs. And since then, we have uh, gone all around the world. Our music is internationally known. Our ministry is internationally known and acclaimed. And uh, we continue to hold up that great heritage and that great legacy that Reverend Cobbs began so many years ago. What is your mission or your mission statement with the church? Our mission is to make sure that we provide an environment where people can find uh, a relationship with Jesus Christ. And then we have a social aspect where we are very concerned about not just spirituality, but also uh, physical accommodations for people uh, in their various walks of life. <coughs> and so uh, we're interested in uh, providing spiritual uh, relationships. Uh, we're, we're interested in providing uh, spiritual uh, in, uh, incentives for people to get to know God. But then we're also concerned about the very material physical aspect of uh, humankind as well. Sarah, tell us a little bit about your faith journey and what this church means to you. Um, First Church of Deliverance means a lot to me. Um, it's like a second home. Everybody knows everybody. When you're going through something, there's always someone there, an adult, a friend that you can go to or ask for help if you need anything. Um, First Church of Deliverance also allowed me to kind of figure out who I am, especially as I'm growing up. You kind of learn who you are as a person, things that you value, what you're into, likes, dislikes, things like that. Um, I'm a part of the dance ministry, and be being a part of that, it's allowed me to learn how to express myself or take interest in the arts department and activities like that. Tell us a little more about that dance ministry. Is that within the church or yes. do you go out in the community? Um, I've been dancing with them since I was about five years old. Um, we started off as the mini troupe. It was girls my age. And the first time we performed, I remember it was one of our best performances ever. I remember seeing my mom crying in the audience. And as you get older and we do more dances, we see how our ministry reflects on the congregation. And our most recent performance that we did, when we finished, there wasn't a dry eye in the audience. And that was, it was the best feeling ever. And just knowing that I'm a part of that, it's, it's amazing. Wonderful. And Andrew, what kind of youth activities do you do or participate with in the church? Well, usually in the children's church, we usually have um, Black History Reports, so I'm involved with that. Um, we have our own Children's Day, so I'm involved with that too. I usually sing, or um, if there's new guests um, coming to the church, I help uh, usher them to like different seats and stuff. And I also bring my friends and family if they want to come because I know how famous our church is. Oh stuff yeah, like I that. mentioned people know that. I go <laughs> yeah. to a historically well-known church and you need to come check it out. So, I bet they get a lot out of it when they come. What do they tell um, you after they visit? They're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I know uh, during Children's Day last year, I brought one of my best friends and he's like, man, this is like, a great experience it's like it's not like your typical church because their church was like you know wasn't as religious wasn't as spiritual as ours and the music was very different and we're so formal but yet so expressive in our feelings and stuff like that so we had a really good time and I know they did too and Reverend Bryson, is there some famous folks that have come through the church? Or? Oh my God, yes, we've had a number of famous folks. I don't want to uh, uh, go down the list, but um, let's just suffice to say that we have, we've always been very politically connected with uh, the local government. Uh, we have always received uh, uh, support 
of the uh, uh, local politicians. And we certainly, throughout all of our uh, international musical acclaim, have had many, many uh, superstars of gospel and superstars of, of even just uh, uh, secular music to come through. Uh, currently, our uh, song that we released, I think it was back in 1989, He's Been Good to Me. As a matter of fact, Andrew sings the lead now that our uh, recorded lead uh, no longer uh, <clears throat> lives in the city. But uh, that song has continued to remain on the charts for years and years and years. It's just one of the favorites. But uh, that song is not new to our recording history. Uh, Reverend Cobbs and uh, the recording choir of the church uh, has recorded numerous uh, albums in the past. And we're getting ready to release a new one in October of this year, 2017. Oh, Looking forward to yeah. that. And how important, or what's the significance to the African American community with this church? Well, the First Church Deliverance is kind of like the mother church of all the other churches. And, and, and most of that had to do with the fact that uh, Reverend Cobbs embraced so many ministers um, that were younger than him. Uh, he was kind of the more experienced one on the block, so to speak. And there have been a number of ministers that have come through First Church Deliverance and started their own churches uh, or uh, have come through and they literally have uh, re received the support of Reverend Cobbs uh, as they went through and established their own churches that may not have been affiliated with First Deliverance, but certainly some very strong churches here in the city of Chicago and across the country. Wonderful. And Andrew, when you sing that song, what does that mean to you? What, how does that feel after you're finished singing that song? Well, usually um, at first when I hear that I have to sing, I'm like, okay, so now I got to learn the words and stuff like that. But then um, a couple years ago when I learned when I had to sing, He's Been Good, I really like kind of felt really happy because that's like our anthem. So the, the words to the song is almost like touching to me because he has been good, not just for me, but I could probably say for all of us here. Yes. So then when I finish singing and I just hear the applause and I just know that like I really affected the church a lot. And Reverend Rice and I, these, both these youth are outstanding and, and how important is it to have programs and all the ministries that you have for the children in the church? I've said since I became pastor that the number one priority for me are the children. And I am just so proud of Sarah and Andrew and their mother, who continues to bring uh, them from a fairly long distance away, but consistently. Uh, so I thank God for their, their mother and parents uh, that uh, continue to allow them to participate in First Deliverance. And this is just a sample, probably the best of our sample, uh, but we have a number of young people that love the Lord and are really beginning to, to come into their own, knowing what their mission and their destiny is in life. And I think that's the most important thing. So I'm so proud of them. And Sarah, what does it mean to you? How will you continue your, continue your faith as you grow into a young adult and a young woman? And how much has this church meant to you? Hmm. Probably as I get older and I start facing challenges, um, I'll rely on the teachings of First Church of Deliverance and the Children's Church and how they've taught us to deal with issues that we may not know how to handle right away. Um, usually the first answer they'll say is talk to God or read the Bible when you don't understand something that should be your number one go-to resource. Um, and when I think about First Church of Deliverance and me growing up in that church, I everything I've learned I would like to be able to show to future generations that follow my brother and I and just show them that this church is here for you no matter what. They teach you how to become a better person and they guide you through life and the ups and downs of it. Wonderful. Reverend Bryson, Sarah, Andrew, thank you so much for sharing more of your faith journey with us. Thank, thank you for having Thank, thank you, you for, for having, having us. us. I'm Anne-Marie Gerhardt for Different Drummers and the Greater Chicago Broadcast Ministries. Keep the faith.